So, this video is for the white people, specifically those who believe that racism doesn't exist and that we need to move on. It's time to talk about sundown towns. So, sundown towns have been a topic of discussion even to this day, but there's a lot of people that look like me that have no idea what they are. So, let's talk about it. So, sundown towns were all white communities that would actively exclude black Americans and other minority groups using disciplinary laws, harassment, and even violence. There would be posted and verbal warnings telling black Americans that they might be able to work and travel during the daytime, but once the sun goes down, then they need to leave. This practice often excluded black Americans, but it was also known to exclude Jewish, Asian, and native communities as well. So from 1890 to 1960, there's been a total of 10,000 sundown towns across America, and they mostly resided in the Midwest and the West side of the country. There would be signs posted at city limits using racial slurs and quotes like don't let the sun go down on you here and whites only after dark. Even back in the 1940s, cities like Edmond, Oklahoma and Mena, Arkansas, they would advertise how great their cities were because there was no black residents. Sundown towns would have discriminatory housing practices, meaning if someone wanted to live there and be black, they couldn't. They couldn't buy a house, they couldn't even rent a house, job opportunities were scarce for black Americans, and if there were any businesses that serve black customers or hire black employees, they would be boycotted by the white townspeople. Even during the daytime, black Americans were subjected to harassment, abuse, violence, and even arrests, all because they were just standing there. It also wasn't uncommon for black travelers to literally be followed all the way to the city limits by the local police or local residents. Sundown towns made it extremely difficult and dangerous for black travelers. And so because of this problem, Victor H. Green, he wrote a guide for black travelers. This guide was published from 1936 to 1966, and it helped millions of travelers. And they needed it back then, because even back in the 1930s, Route 66, 44 out of 89 counties did not have a single motel or restaurant that would welcome black travelers. And whether you acknowledge it or not, sundown towns are still a thing. You don't believe me? It's really not that hard to look up. For example, my state that I live in that happens to be in the Midwest, there's over 120 counties that are still known to be sundown towns. What about your state? And there's some people that say that racism was over a long time ago. Fuck all the way off. Make sure you white people stay tuned because next we're going to talk about reparations. So stay tuned.